Hello, I'm Susan Bressler, the Julia G. Levy, PhD, Professor of Ophthalmology at the Wilmer Eye Institute, Johns Hopkins Medicine. My area of expertise is retinal diseases, but more specifically, the medical retinal diseases, which happen to be two of the four most common causes of blindness. Primarily, I'm talking about diabetic retinopathy and age-related macular degeneration. Oh, I chose ophthalmology quite some time ago because it was so full of promise. Relative to other disciplines, it was relatively young in its science, so there were major visually impairing conditions for which we really didn't have great means of diagnosis or therapy. So it was an area where I knew I could make a very substantial impact over several decades. So my research is all clinical research. I focus on the best ways of diagnosing the conditions that are of key importance in creating vision impairment, those being diabetic retinopathy and age-related macular degeneration. So I work on better ways of diagnosis, classification of the disease, epidemiology, which is primarily the science of who develops the disease, what are the risk factors associated with the disease, and foremost, I work on new therapies that in the long run limit the amount of vision impairment that patients suffer from these conditions. Initially, our approach to managing patients with these disorders was more surgical primarily laser photocoagulation. But then we entered a pharmacologic error, and now our therapies are centered around delivery of medications into the eye itself, and the class of agents that we're presently using fall into the category of what we call antibodies, or anti-vascular endothelial growth factor agents that are actually very effective at addressing diabetic macular edema, swelling of the retina that occurs in the setting of diabetic retinal disease, as well as proliferative diabetic retinopathy, and of course, neovascular, or what we call wet, age-related macular degeneration. So I think what makes my work unique is uh, in part longevity that I've been involved in the development of so many different treatments, that I've had an opportunity to really grow a fund of knowledge. I've watched new imaging modalities be born and have to learn how to best use these, how to have them evolve to work for us, to promote the way we diagnose our diseases. It's allowed us actually to identify disease at earlier phases, giving us an opportunity to intervene even earlier to limit vision loss. Now, because I've spent my career in clinical trials and developing new therapies, this has really been a global effort. And it's allowed me the opportunity to work with colleagues throughout the world in performance of these trials, and then once we have our results, to disseminate the information and educate colleagues throughout the world about our findings, and most importantly, how to apply them to clinical practice and in a framework where clinical practice varies globally. The last few decades have brought us new knowledge and treatments for our patients with macular degeneration and diabetic eye disease. And what really thrills me is delivering that care to patients. So the retina division and myself included would be delighted to see patients with these disorders so that they can benefit from these discoveries and in the long run enjoy their sight for their activities that they cherish as long as possible.